Google's driverless cars recently got their licenses, the first ever for driverless cars from the state of Nevada. These cars are just research projects for now, but driverless cars hold real life-saving potential. Despite years of auto safety advancements, over 30,000 people a year are killed in car crashes in the U.S. The vast majority of these are caused by human drivers. Even if computer-driven cars aren't perfect, they're almost certain to be far better than we are. Driverless cars like Google's combine a number of technologies that are available in cars today. GPS tracking, wheel movement sensors, radar, and more. Those are combined with additional technologies and sophisticated software that even allow the cars to read street signs and signals and actually drive itself through traffic. One technology Google apparently doesn't use is vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. V2V communication uses inexpensive transmitters to send and receive signals that tell other cars where each car is, where it's headed and how fast it's moving. These devices can also communicate with transmitters placed along the road. V2V, as it's called, is already in advanced stages of development by a consortium of automakers and the federal government's National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Although they're still a long way from replacing us, some so-called driver assistance technologies are available on cars today and they're making a big difference. Electronic stability control, which helps drivers maintain control in abrupt maneuvers, has been shown to reduce fatal crashes by as much as a third. None of this means that human drivers are likely to completely leave the vehicle. Fully driverless cars, ones that can go on their way with no responsible adult on board at all, are something that automakers are looking at as a more distant possibility. That would allow you to do away with having to go get your car from a parking space. Finally, the car could come and get you.